Hey guys, just before you watch the video, just letting you know, if you don't like tutorials or you don't want to watch it, it's okay if you could just leave a like so my channel could grow, and comment what you want to see f from COD gameplays, and then leave, that's alright, I understand, some of you guys don't want to watch, it's all good, still love you all, and I will have code commentaries up soon, but this is another basic commentary for editing, another tutorial, and on that, I'll see you guys later, and enjoy the tutorial guys, and have a nice day. What's going on guys, Burns here, and today I have some tutorials. Really quick, uh, this is going to be explaining project settings, project properties, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you can either press that. If, you, if you're in 1080p in full screen, you'll be able to see. It's a lot better than pause the video up there. Or you can go File, down to Properties, same thing. Or you can press Alt and Enter, and it'll be the same thing. Um, just so you know, this is what you see around here. It will determine your preview screen size, all that kind of stuff. And if you don't have these down properly, then editing can be a lot harder or just it will not work in the end. So you might want to copy these down. The first is 1280 by 720. I don't recommend doing nine, uh, 1920 by 1080 unless you've got a better computer because code commentaries you just need 720p these tutorials are making in 1080p because you guys can see full screen a lot better um, and so yeah this is where you're at uh, 1280 by 720 lower field first just keep it like that uh, square this is a main one you guys gotta listen um, pixel aspect ratio don't put it to HDV 1080 1.3333 recurring. Um, I tried this with my last video and it will end up making the video go just say that was like that. It'll be like this. You can, hopefully, you guys can see the cursors. It'll be only this tall, but it'll be like this wide and it will completely stuff up. So, you really don't want that. You want that on square always, even though it's t even if you want to change that to 1080p, keep that square. That's a must. Uh, output rotation with that zero, otherwise it's going to be upside down. Frame rate, this is another big one, guys. If you're editing montages, you have to have this at 59.940. Uh, if you have it at 60, it can just be weird. If you have it at 29.94 or whatever it is, you you really 29.97. You can't be editing on 30 frames per second. I'm sorry for you guys that have dazzles, but it just is not well if you want to sync to the beat stuff like that it is near in I want to near impossible but it is so much harder when you have less because see the frame rate if it's at 30 there's half the amount of frames that you can see so there's half as much you can sync to 32 bit full range not video levels full range pixel format you want this one as linear you want this best this has to be best this can be on draft or preview one that I'm best for full resolution rendering quality. Gaussian blur, that's the best that works for me. You want none on deinterlace de method. And this one here that says adjust source media to better match project or render settings. You want that off. Um, that is another big one. And this is just where you want to put your pre rendered files. Uh, start all, after you've done it all, you got to click start new projects with these settings and click apply, then OK. Uh, we'll go to audio. Want that stereo? Don't worry about 5.1 surround sound. Zero stereo buses. F this is another big one. 44,100. You want to have that as your sample rate. Sample rate. Uh, it's just audio quality. It's decent. You want this on 16, not 24. I think it defaults 8. So keep that 16. Resample and stretch quality. You want that best. Otherwise, when you slow down a certain part, that'll be really annoying. And this is another big thing I only just found out before. Recorded files folder. Uh, every time you record a commentary, you press record there. You have to select a folder where you want it to record to. And normally you have to, I have to click the folder every time. But if you set that up there, go browse and click wherever. Then it, you just press start all new projects with the settings, apply. And all your commentaries will automatically be recorded in the one folder. Don't worry about or rule it too much. Um, don't worry if that's 29.97. The big thing is that's going to be zero for the start time. Beats per minute. You want them on 120 and 8 beats per measure. Note that gets 
one beat is quarter that's just so it's easy to sync to with the music summary don't worry audio cd don't worry at all so after you've done all that you'd press start all new projects with these settings you would press apply and then you would press ok so we're running out of time guys nearly five minutes so this is before you even get start, started editing you need to get this right uh, I may have done this in a video before and read into settings but this I want to make it a separate one so hopefully you guys understand what it does it changes a hell of a lot so you need to have those settings right just pause any moment during the video when you see it like that and make it full screen pause it and then copy it down other than that I will see you guys later if you get this video to 10 likes that would be awesome if you didn't like if you don't really like watching these videos it's alright just give a like if you want and leave I'll upload more code it's alright I just want to have a kind of a balance and explore my editing tutorials kind of stuff so other than that I will see you guys later and have a good day guys